But who am I to question him with a mustache like that? And he unbuttons his shirt as well. How much more Indian than... Alright. Um, I'm not a big fan of fighting ice climbers on FD, but... Um, I could see outspacing with forward airs like that working out in his favor, so... Perhaps this works out with um, no platforms. It's way easier, but with no platforms, Ice Climbers also benefits and gets easier wobble setups, I feel like. <coughs> and this is relatively even. Uh, yeah. So, Big D oh. is somebody I think a lot of people like don't really understand that he's good at every game, like pretty good at every game, and that he's uh, he's probably going to make top 32 in, uh, in most of these big events. Oh, this but, is top yeah. 32. Yeah, right. th yeah, this is top 32 right now. Uh, we're in Winterside. Ooh, and, um, and he's not wobbling. No, he wasn't He wasn't wobbling at all. He played against uh, Dr. Z earlier. He played against Sheridan. Does he? Uh, beat him. 2-0. Oh, he did. Oh, yeah. wow. That's actually pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah, so um, he's playing good. He's playing good melee this tournament. I can't speak for his other games, but he's playing good melee this uh, this tournament. And Chip is the old school player yeah, that man. is kind of sneaking out of retirement, it seems like. No, no he's, he's been active. He's been active. Yeah. He's been active, but he just hasn't uh, got the chance to come to Western Washington tournaments as much. Right. But he's he's, he's uh, he went to PAX. He beat uh, Reno there. He's doing oh well. yeah, yeah. That's I heard about that. And then uh, the last time he played uh, Blade Wise, he double eliminated him. So he's he's just pretty good, man. It's pretty good. Yeah, he's one of those he's one of those hidden bosses that like nobody knows about. Right, right, right. And right now he's looking really good against uh, Big D here. Indeed. So he's making the stage strike work for him. And. Yeah, I guess the recovery options are really limited with no platforms. Well, like especially versus Marth. Yeah. And then you're then you're like really in trouble. Yeah, the side Bs are just getting like crouch canceled and just, just punishes them so easily. Yep. Oh man. And the thing is, he can let that go, and then he'll still have enough time to punish the landing. Right. Right. All right, nice back carry. Cleans up a stock. Did Zero enter melee? So did I enter melee? Zero? Zero? Uh, no. Oh, he was okay. playing some melee. He did not enter melee, though. Ah, oh, that's too bad. That's too bad. I was watching him play melee. But, uh, I'm just curious. But, man, he's yeah. doing a good I... job killing uh, Nana every time. Yeah. Which, I mean, obviously is uh, an important part of the Ice Climbers matchup. Definitely, definitely. But he's really making this counter grip work. He's just cornering Ice Climbers, and there's doesn't seem like there's mo not much uh, Big D can do. Just kind of stuck yeah. in the corner. I mean, he's he's playing Marth to a T. Like he's playing textbook Marth right now. Yeah. And uh, it's really hard to get around. Yeah. He's walk really walk back forward smash. Charge that neutral B. I love that he actually uh, confirmed that he hit one of his forward airs on a shield, and he was like, "I'm not going for another one." As of, I have actually seen like plenty of Marths today still go for that other forward air on shield and they'll get punished for it. But he uh, opted for the down tilt there. Right. But man, Chip's, Chip's punishes are just so good. Yeah. <laughs> man. It's crazy. Solid three stock. A solid, solid three stock. FD really, really working out in his favor. Dang. Yeah, but uh, I think wobbling is kind of necessary for ICs. They aren't, they aren't broken by any means. I mean, wobbling is kind of... Yeah, I, I Whatever, mean, like, but it's it's kind of ice climbers aren't like still even top four or five. My argument for wobbling yeah. is, you know, it it is kind of hard to get. Plus the fact, well, it's hard to get when your opponent knows it's coming. It's like you got You have to get that grab. Right. And uh, you know, desync setups yeah. are more than not, more often than not, pretty obvious. Like, see, that could have been a kill. Should have been a kill if it was wobbling. I mean, it's mm -hmm. kind of necessary for ICs because the regrab combos are. Why do redirect combos when you can just wobble them? <laughs> yeah. You know, it's just not efficient. Yeah. Especially when Chip is comboing me so much, and he's got a crazy punish game right now. Is and see, like, I know Big D can wobble. I've seen him wobble people all the time. Right. But uh, he's just choosing not to. Yeah. Yeah. Big D just wobble, man. It's okay. No one's gonna judge you. Nice. 
to be. Oh, good DI from Chip. That Marth Killer only gets Nana on the stage. Unfortunately, she, she climbs right back on automatically. Right. Oh my god, and Chip expertly dodges all the icicles. That this was man nice. not fearing anything right now. He seems really comfortable in this matchup. It's crazy. It doesn't seem like Big D can get anything started. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't help that he's not having Nana for like half the match. What can Big D do in this situation? Okay, I think forward smash would have been the right call there, but he's still keeping him off the stage. And a uh, misspaced forward smash from Chip. And Big D will live. And uh, Big D is living a lot more than he was last round. Right. Although, still n not looking very good for him. No, it's really not. It's, it's a, really an uphill battle. He's just really beaten Ice Climbers pretty well. And I've heard from a lot of Ice Climber mains that this is a, a particularly irritating matchup. Oh, that was oh, that was a good setup, but doesn't get any punish off there. Yeah. It, it really looked like he was going for a desync right there. Right. Maybe he's decided that it's time. It might be too little too late right now, though. Oh yeah, I think so. I think so too. Um, like I think even if he does start wobbling right now, it's it's not going to win him the match. No, I don't think so. Chip is too good for that right now. Oh man, and used the flash wow. so well. That was great. You know, like I would have seen so many Mars just go forward with those uh, with those forward airs. And they'll just keep advancing. And he's like, no, no, you've got your shield up. And you're going to come out at some point, so I'll just keep baiting these. Right, exactly, exactly. Why not? I mean, you're Marth. You can control all of that space. Exactly. Like, and why, why would you give up control of that space? If you go forward, you give up control of that, and you start giving them the advantage. Right. Oh, and he just kind of falls down to his death. Not looking too good for Big D. Are you trying to get some up tilts? Maybe oh, trying man. to spike Nana. Yeah, it's not great punishes from Big D. E. He's only getting like a handful of openings, and he's really not making them count. Uh, I think like this is where you see um, his lack of melee experience start to show. Yeah. Because uh, we've been saying this all tournament, you know, brawl player, great neutral. He's pretty good at those other games too. Right. Uh, but at this point, he needs melee knowledge. Dang. Yeah. Solid showing from Ship. Poor Big D. Not living up to his name. Looking like Small D. Alright, so uh, you have been called up to main stage. They're going to start the melee games. Oh, sick. Alright, I will uh, switch yeah. over to... What's that stream? Team Chaos? Team Chaos. Twitch.tv slash Team Chaos if you guys want to be seeing uh, the melee games. And... Uh, here we're going to be continuing winner side of top 32. Yes, so solid melee wherever you watch. I love. I suggest the multi twitch. <laughs> yeah, multi twitch is a good idea. All right, guys, and I'm going to go ahead and set up the next match, and I will be right back with commentary for you guys.
Yeah!